that's in two. Angles, polygons, triangles, and quadrilaterals. All right, I feel like this is a review, and you maybe don't need to write this one down, unless you think you do need to write it down, and then you should, okay? But probably you know that's intersecting lines and parallel lines. Um, I mean, this is for right angles. So if you have these two lines right here, these are actually perpendicular. I don't know if you remember that word, but they make four right angles as long as they are perpendicular. Okay, this next one, it's actually this line here that is called a straight angle. And so a straight angle, I don't know why that line is up top. It technically doesn't matter. A straight angle is 180 degrees. All right, a straight angle is a flat line, okay? This other line that's drawn straight up, like it could be wherever, and I still have a straight angle, right? Do you guys remember the name of these two angles, what we call those, that add to 180? Supplementary. Yeah, that. Exactly. We have complementary and supplementary. All right. Sometimes, like, straight angle and supplementary look the same, but a straight angle is just the fact that this one line on the bottom is flat, so it's 180 degrees. Okay? Uh, and then we've got acute angles and obtuse angles. So acute angles are the ones that are less than 90 degrees. All right? They're the little cute. They're the cute ones, less than 90 degrees. All right, and then we have our obtuse angles, which are greater than 90 degrees. You guys probably remember that. Cool. Yep, I see a lot of you not writing that one down. Okay, obviously, uh, we have a right angle, which means 90 degrees. Probably remember that one. All right. Uh, I don't know why we just did this one, 180 in a straight line. Yep, we got that. All right, and in case you forgot, there are 360 degrees in a circle. Again, I don't really know why we have these lines. That's just what the book had. But really, you just want to know the whole circle is 360. Um, and then you're good to go. All right, what about polygons? All right, what is a polygon? It is a closed, flat, geometric figure whose sides are line segments. Uh, these guys right here, not polygons, all right? Why are these not polygons? These like cross in the middle. I suppose you could say these are two separate polygons here, but they can't do that. You can't have lines that cross. You can't have these like not be connected. All right. And this is a problem because it's curvy. All right. So that is not a polygon. So here are like some polygons. All right. I would write this part down at least for like what the name of each one is in case you forgot. All right. So everyone probably knows this one. What is the name of this polygon? everyone. Great job. Triangle. All right. What is the name of this one, the most generic form? Yes, quadrilateral. Just any four-sided figure. I know that looks like a square. It probably is a square, right? Uh, but just the generic four-sided uh, figure is a quadrilateral. All right. Okay. Uh, five sides. Anybody know five? Everybody? Who knows it? Good job. Pentagon. Okay, how about six sides? Anybody know six? Hexagon. Okay. Anybody know seven? Uh, septagon, I don't think is right. Although I feel like we've used that for something else. But it is not a septagon. Does anyone remember? Uh, it is a heptagon. Tricky. All right, so seven sides is a heptagon. All right, how about eight? Octagon. Okay. And I can't draw them, apparently. I just stopped drawing them. You have to just picture that in your head, okay? Nine sides. Anybody know nine sides? Yeah, nonagon. Nice job. Anybody know ten sides? Yep. Good job. Decagon. Okay, anybody know eleven sides? It is an undecagon. And anybody know 12, so 12 sides? Yeah. Close. It's a dodecagon. Dodecagon. And n sides is an n-gon. I know. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So it's just a 13-gon or a 14-gon or a 15-gon after that. All right. Until it just becomes a circle. Um, did you guys still need to write? Sorry. No. Some of you looked at me like you were not done. <laughs> All 
All right, we have concave and convex. Which one of these is concave? The left or the right, everybody? Yeah. So this guy right here is concave, okay? It like indents. All right, so if you can draw a line like this and it goes like inside, that is concave, all right? And then convex is this one right here. So concave makes like a cave, all right? Convex, they're all pushed out. Nobody's indented. Okay. Uh, regular polygon has to have both of these things true, all right? So raise your hand if you know what equilateral means. Uh, I'm trying to, what's your name again? Kira. Kira, what is it? Exactly. All sides, and I'm going to use this little symbol, that means congruent in geometry, which is equal, okay? They're all equal. So if I had an equilateral triangle, that was not drawn very well, but all of those sides are equal, okay? Equal angular, raise your hand if you know what equal angular is, Eli. Uh, all angles are equal. Exactly. All, oops, alls, all angles are congruent. All right, so if I had an equal angular triangle, this angle would have to be 60, this one would have to be 60, and this one would have to be 60 because they had 180. They're all the same, all right? Now, if both of these are true, we have a regular polygon. So if you hear or see the word regular, that means that all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal, all right? So here I have a regular hexagon where I have equal sides, and I also have equal angles. It is regular, all right? Let's talk about the different kinds of triangles. And let's see, raise your hand if you can tell me what type of triangle this is. Right, okay. Good, this is a right triangle. Excellent. What, else, what other kinds of triangles do we have, Cade? We have obtuse, okay? I like it. This would be obtuse because this angle is greater than 90. If one of the angles is greater than 90, we have obtuse. We have another kind of triangle. Anyone remember another kind? Yep. We have acute. Uh, I'm not sure if this one is acute. They all have to be less than uh, 90, but like, so this one right here, where they were all 60, would be acute, right? Anybody remember when all the sides are different lengths, what it's called? Um, Kira? Scalene. Yes. Scalene. All right. And this would be scalene right here because those are definitely all like different lengths. Yes. Isosceles? Yeah, we also have isosceles. Oh, that's coming down here. All right. Isosceles. Which one is isosceles of those three, you guys? This one right here. Okay. Isosceles. That means that two sides are the same length. If two sides are the same length, we also know, and this is kind of important, that the base angles are the same. Okay? That's something that's important to know. All right, so this one right here, we just learned the vocab word for. What's that called? Equilateral. Okay, that's equilateral. And then this one is scalene. All right? Oops. All right, a little review about triangles. Uh, raise your hand if you remember what all the angles of a triangle add up to, Ryan. Yes, 180. So I call this triangle sum. In algebra 2, we make you write down TS for triangle sum, which basically just means all angles add to 180. Okay, for any triangle, they add to 180. So we need to find X. We'll, we'll write a little equation here. Okay, you can write your, uh, your work like this, or you can do 180 minus 30 minus 130, however you want to do it. All right, if you want to write an equation, or if you just want to show that you subtracted from 180, that is fine with me. Um, so this would be 160. All right, subtract 160 from both sides. So x is equal to 20 degrees, and in, in algebra 2, you will write TS, triangle sum. Like, that's how you were allowed to do that. You don't have to do that for this class.
All right, so there you go. Give you guys a minute. Those of you still writing, I go kind of fast on some of the review stuff. All right, find X and Y. What kind of triangle is this, everyone? Isosceles. All right, we have two sides the same. So this guy right here is telling us this is equal to this. So someone raise your hand and tell me which angles are equal. So as soon as you see isosceles, you better check for equal angles. Is it Marshall? Yeah. Okay, what's, the, what's equal? Exactly. Right here, I know that this is equal to this. So there's a little note here. It says, in any triangle, the opposite sides of equal lengths have equal angle measures. All right, so opposite of this side is this angle. Opposite of this side is this angle. So since they're equal, these are the base angles. If it was turned, you might want to check for opposite those sides. It's not always the base angles, you know what I'm saying? All right, so check if it's like, looks like this. That was terrible, but pretend like I drew a good triangle there and those are equal. All right, then obviously it's these two angles that are going to be congruent. Okay. All right, so anyways, X is 50 degrees. And in Algebra 2, you actually write IT for isosceles triangle, but you don't have to do that in this class. But that's how we know. All right, the base angles are equal because it's an isosceles triangle, but you don't have to do that here. Okay, we still have to find y. So now I know that y plus 50 plus 50 is equal to 180 because of triangle sum. It's just ingrained in me to do that now, but again, you don't have to do that. Okay, so the whole thing has to add 180. I know the two are 50, so that's 100. I'm going to subtract 100 from both sides. So I know that top angle is 80 degrees. Any questions? Okay, we'll try one more, I guess. All right. What kind of triangle is this? Yes, and? It is isosceles. How do we know it's isosceles since it's not actually marked? Uh, live. Yes, so notice this. These are both eight. Eight's equal to eight. <laughs> okay, so now someone tell me which two angles are equal. Because you got to know, like, based on someone I haven't called on yet, is it Knox? Y and X. It is Y and X, exactly. Okay, so this is opposite and then opposite the side. So those two angles have to be equal. All right, so how would we solve? Nolan? Yep. Exactly. All right, so each of these have to be 35 degrees, all right? So subtract one from 180, and there's 70 degrees left over, and then they have to be equal. So divide by two. Any questions? All right. Very good. Unfortunately, we have more. Quadrilaterals. Label the following quadrilaterals. All right. These are just all the names for four-sided figures. So, like, raise your hand if you think you know what that first one is. Is there anyone who has not participated that would like to maybe uh, suggest something? Is it Claire? Okay. Ooh, you are close. Close. All right, Kira, go ahead. Yes, we'll go with parallelogram. So, a rom parallelogram. All right, a rhombus has to have all sides equal. All right? So, it does have parallel sides, but all sides are equal. So, a parallelogram just has parallel sides. Okay. Uh, how about the next one? Sanya. Trapezoid. Great. Okay, how about the next one? Cade. Yep. And now, what is this one, Claire? Yes, now we have a rhombus. All right. And this last one, everyone. <laughs> Good job. All right, so those are just some things. We'll go over kind of all of these. Um, because remember, a square can be a rhombus, but like a rhombus can't be a square. Not necessarily a square. Those are, that gets fun, yeah. We'll not worry about that for now. That's just the basics. All right, you guys, that's it. <laughs> Me.